Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Children of All Ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog for Thursday, July 2nd. First off, I'd like to thank Jacob CG, this time I actually remembered your name last week, I forgot to mention it, for the $10 donation during yet another Wednesday in Justice God's Among Us stream. There's also some bit donations, including MLG dropping about a dollar's worth of bits and some other ones. I'll make sure to mention all the uh, bit donors within the description. Now today I want to talk to you guys about the Injustice Challenge that we will do on Wednesday. I'm also going to be doing the Squirrel Girl Arena tomorrow while I'm with Beth. And I think Sabretooth is in the feature. I'll probably try to get the 4-star Sabretooth as well. Just because it'll probably only be about 6 to 7 million. And that shouldn't be a problem to do, especially with my 5-star roster getting a little bit bigger. I'd also like to talk about the Mortal Kombat Mobile update as they had to tweet about a gold character coming because, let's face it, they've been putting all these diamond characters in Mortal Kombat Mobile. You cannot neglect the gold cards within any game. It's just like Injustice 2. You need to continue putting characters into the game. And I feel that NetherRealm is too slow on adding content to games, and that is why people tune to other games. If Mortal Kombat Mobile would actually work on some aspects within their game, and maybe with AT&T getting rid of uh, Warner Brothers Media, maybe if a company like 2K or EA comes out, they'll actually put more into the mobile division. Because if you're making $800,000 in Injustice 2 and a million dollars a month in Mortal Kombat Mobile, and if you're even making $300,000, $400,000 a month in Injustice 1, why are you not putting more money into those games when it costs you absolutely nothing other than the uh, developers making content for the game. Don't you think that you have the potential to make far more money if you actually produce uh, for games? Like, even in Justice Gods Among Us, if they put new characters into the game that you cannot actually buy uh, challenge upgrades for anymore for, like, six months, if you can't buy characters directly outright... I remember they did this in Update 2.6. I could see people dropping money if a character is good... Like Blackest Night the Flash, like Blackest Night Superman. But I would just like to see Injustice 1 get a nice little overhaul. Um, maybe some new gear items, maybe some new characters. I know that when Mick Pack took over the game, it was really cool, and then they changed it out. But Mortal Kombat Mobile, the last like year and a half, they haven't even put 10 characters in the game. And Injustice 2 is notoriously bad for this as well. Injustice 2 has been basically focusing on legendaries and retuning characters, which is fine. It's nice to have characters retuned. Like, I was playing with in Tangling Poison Ivy, who used to be one of the worst cards in the game. And they actually changed her to be decent. I haven't played with uh, Suicide Squad, not Marksman Deadshot, but I heard that they retooled him. Because he used to be absolutely useless with no armor piercing. And in the end game, he basically did no damage. So I like the fact that they're retooling characters. I would like to see them possibly rotate characters in the arena store or make them more accessible because I just feel that it's pretty like lame that, for example, Silver Wonder Woman, Amazon Wonder Woman is not available. And I'd like to see more campaign in Injustice 2. Like we haven't had anything new since the game came out in 2017, we've had the same characters in the campaign. Yes, they put Grid and Multiverse Batwoman in there, which I, th I think is really cool. We need to see more of that. We need to see more gold characters rotated out. Like, I would love to see Blade Master Robin removed from two nodes. That's pretty pointless. I'd honestly like to see Grid and Multiverse Batwoman removed from nodes. I'd like to see Unhinged Harley Quinn actually put in the campaign. I'd like to see Suicide Squad Deadshot put into the campaign. And I don't know. I am liking the game. I really am. I like the fact that they finally put classic Batman in the store. So now eventually, hopefully, I can get some more attack in, on Batman character. I think it's more XP for capsules as well or something like that too. But, yeah, I just like to see more characters accessible. I really do like the solo raid update for Injustice 2. I have been playing the game for a little over a week now. And I'm going to say the game isn't that bad. It's just I still hate Arena in that game. I've always liked raids. And I'm still recruiting R17084 if you're looking for a league. Do not apply if you're under 3 million threat. Unless I personally know you. Or 
I say it's okay to send a request. Like if you're at 2.7, 2.8 million threat, you're fine. The reason I want 3 million threat, and this is not to discourage players like Demon Skitter that have low threat uh, teams. The reason I want 3 million threat is because I eventually want to be able to do raid 6, and if you don't have 3 million threat, you're pretty much useless. So that is why I'm kind of pushing for that. But I just feel that Netherrealm needs to increase their mobile budget, and I think it would be a lot better place. I mean, we're seeing Raid Shadow Legends continuously update their game. We're seeing Marvel Contest of Champions with the Summoner Appreciation for 5,000... I think it's like 6,200 six-star shards altogether if you hit all 98 days or whatever, and you have like 104 days. So you have like a week that you could actually miss a day logging in, and you'd still be fine. And I think that's going to cut out a lot of the backlash from people in Marvel Contest of Champions. Because if people are halfway there to a 6-star, this is going to push them right over the top from that. And if you know that you have a goal for 3 months to get like 6,000 uh, 6-star shards, people are going to play the game regardless if updates seem bad. Like, I don't know, maybe I just need to get good and... Uh, try out different things with Canadian difficulty, or maybe I just need to upgrade more five stars to rank five. This event is going to be around for another 35 days. So I have a month to take up a five star to rank four and try to do that as well, because I don't think Corvus is going to be that great, but I know people like Hyperion are going to be good against various other nodes. And yeah, I need, I need a good five star that's not void and not X-23, or somebody that has, like, a lot of buffs. Like, Silver Surfer would be cool. I have a 5-star to open up, but I kind of want to try for a featured, but then if I get Blue Cyclops, I probably just delete the game. So I don't know if I want to do that. But I want to thank all of you guys that do support the stream. Remember, this is my full-time job. I rely on donations, bits, and subscriptions on Twitch, memberships from YouTube, for your in order to keep doing this without having to go get a job. And I thank each and every one of you guys for giving me that opportunity. Even $10 a day is enough to sustain for people. So I appreciate everybody that comes in and drops money. And I hate asking for donations. I really do. Your viewership is what matters to me most. And I also need to figure out why my Twitch views overall have been decreasing when I'm used to getting 8 to 10 viewers. Is it because people don't want to watch Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes on my channel? Or could it be something else? But either way, I'm going to be over at Best House tomorrow. We're going to do a daily vlog. I might even try to sneak one in at Kroger if we can find a quiet place. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids. Stay safe.